So training week this week actually went really good, which was surprising because following the end of the last training week on Friday, my lower back was not feeling good. I was hunched over all day. Uh, I took a bunch of ibuprofen, didn't finish the training day that day, kind of played it safe, and it paid dividends because by Monday, which you're watching right now, I felt really good and I continued to feel good all week. So it's just one of those things where I've been through this enough where if I feel something doesn't feel right, I make an audible, I make a smart decision, and I live to train another day, and I'm glad I did that because it could have been potentially bad if I sucked it up and pushed through the pain. And it's interesting because sometimes I do see that on other people's posts on social media, you know, that I follow that, you know, they're dealing with an injury and they have a meet coming up or they're trying to do something and they just push through it because no pain, no gain. Well, that might be true for them. But for me, who would like to continue lifting and remaining as healthy as possible, if I feel something's off, I'm just going to take that time. And I think that's probably the best advice, at least for myself. And that's why I've been able to basically stay mostly healthy during my, let's see, how old am I now? I'm 37. I started training when I was probably about 14 or 15. So I've been training for over 20 years and I've never had to take significant time off of training completely. Now, that's not to say I haven't dealt with issues with tendonitis as I get older or just things of bad form catching up to me, but I learn from those mistakes, at least I think I do, and I try to make those adjustments accordingly. And again, I think it's not very realistic to never expect to get banged up a little bit, but for prolonged amounts of times, I think it is largely unavoidable. At least I tell myself that. At least that's a way for me to lift lighter and not push myself too hard or too heavy where I know it's going to screw me up in the long run. So long-term goals over short-term gains. At least, again, I'm just telling myself to convince myself that's how it's going to pay off. And I say that because this week was actually fairly light, somewhat considered. Uh, it's been interesting on this program because in this particular week, it looks like my volume's getting up, but my intensity is dropping more so. So normally I would see there would be like an even balance of how it drops and how it balances out. I'm thinking that because this is about my seventh week on this program, it's probably more of a program deload. Uh, however, it doesn't come right out and tell you, but I feel like that's what's taking place, or at least that's what my body's telling me, because again, I feel pretty good, and based off of how things have been moving and how things have been looking on my week-to-week progression, I want to say that this week was somewhat of a deload week, uh, which is probably right in line. So I'm filming this, or I should say I'm filming or recording the voiceover right now. It's on Saturday. Tomorrow I fly out to Seattle, so I'll be gone all week. I am going to train while I'm away. I'm hoping to get all four training days in. I know that's not a high probability, but it's a possibility, so I'm going to try probably at least three days if I have to have the fourth day when I'm home and just kind of shorten my rest time before starting the next training week. That'll be the case. Uh, But that being said, speaking of learning from past mistakes, I talked to Garrett about what I'm doing for my programming, and for this particular week coming up, I'm just going to go in assuming or presetting all of my fatigue levels for deadlifts and squats to be somewhere in the eight range. So typically the way the program works is it it's at this five standard, which is in the middle. If you're really good, you move more towards a one or even up to a one. If you feel worse, you slowly work your way towards a 10, or in some cases you say injured or sick, which means it would completely remove that movement whatsoever. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put an eight in, even though I feel pretty good as of today, but I just know traveling takes a huge toll on my body. And then while I'm away working, I'm on my feet most of the day. I'm not eating as much as I should. I have a lot of stuff going on. It's a high stress environment. Uh, So training usually takes somewhat of a toll on me, especially if I try to push the numbers or keep the numbers where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to proactively set them to a higher fatigue level, which is gonna severely drop my intensity and my volume. But when I get back, I shouldn't feel too overtaxed and I should just be able to resume training, or at least that's the plan. And when I'm back, then I'll actually finish up my eighth week of training, which will be two full blocks on this AI coaching program. So I'm hoping that I put together a video to talk about how the first eight weeks went. Um, And as part of that, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a review. Obviously, I've been trying to talk about it since I've been on this program to give you some insight into it. Uh, But my time has just been not very there lately, meaning that I don't have a ton of free time. Luckily, these training videos, I'm training anyway, so it's very easy to just throw on a camera and these voiceovers take little to no effort whatsoever, as you can probably tell. And I try to bang out one extra video per week if I can. Typically, those have been a review because I can do those videos really quickly, usually one take if I'm lucky, and again, little to no editing. So as part of that, I do also wanna kind of throw a question out there. What 
other video do you want to see? Is there any particular review you guys are waiting on? Something you need to talk about? Maybe a topic in general? Uh, I'm asking you because if you're watching this video, it usually lends me to believe that you're more of a fan of my channel because I know these training videos can be very boring and dull and a lot of people skip them, which I totally understand. But if you're watching this, you're dedicated to it, then I trust your opinion more than anybody else's. So if there is a particular video you guys wanna see, let me know in the comment section below. And if someone has already said the video that you think you would like to see, make sure you give that a thumbs up because that's how I'll tell. Hope everyone has a great week, a great Mother's Day. My Mother's Day gift to my wife, her first Mother's Day is I'm leaving for Seattle for a week, so I'm leaving her alone completely because I'm a good husband. So hope everyone has a great week, great training, all that other stuff. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.